Hello there. Today, I watched the film Spinning Gold, and now I want to tell you about it. Spinning Gold is a musical drama that tells the life story of famous music producer Neil Bogart. Neil was involved with Buddha Records early in his career and helped found Casablanca Records, which signed iconic acts like Kiss and Donna Summers. The movie was written and directed by Neil's son, Timothy Scott Bogart, and tells his entire life story, from where he began to how he died. It stars Jeremy Jordan as Neil, Michelle Monaghan as his wife Beth, and Jason Isaacs as his father Al. The story is presented in a narrated form. Jeremy Jordan as an older Neil Bogart monologues to the audience about his life and we see his memories play out with him adding little bits of context here and there. He starts by telling us a small story of one of his earliest successes and then jumps to a story about the time he tried to debut Kiss and it went terribly. The movie continues in this fashion with him jumping from story to story slowly making his way through his life leading up to his big break at Casablanca Records. It then winds down with a heartfelt message about his death and ends with a mini-concert mashup. The story has a lot of exciting moments in it in the form of mini-concerts and really good speeches given by Neil, but it's told in a semi-incoherent way. It's hard to follow because of all the jumping around and it doesn't feel like it has a central voice despite being narrated. I was never sure where we were going or which characters I was actually supposed to take note of because the only thing that's clear is that Neil is a huge personality. He dominates every scene and he's the only character to be developed over the course of the film. Neil's a good singer, he's charismatic, and his big talk makes you want to root for him initially, but the film spends a long time on his personal flaws and his downward spiral and it doesn't do a good job of explaining each of the stories. We are often dropped into the middle of a scene without a lot of context and the stories don't string together neatly. The music is a huge selling point of the film. The soundtrack seems simple, being made up of classic hits and a few background instrumentals here and there, but every single track is used to maximum effect. Throughout the film we get different musical performances from Jeremy Jordan and a variety of different artists. The other artists are playing famous musicians and attempting to recreate their classic sound, while Neil sings along and takes part in the music every chance he gets. Classic songs showcase the caliber of the artists Neil was working with, and the few times that they use background instrumentals are during emotional moments and big speeches. They're well-timed, never overpower the dialogue, and extract every last drop of emotion from the scene. The soundtrack has a huge impact. Visually, there's a lot going on, too. The visual journey sees us jumping back and forth between present-time Neil and the memory version, and it can be quite confusing at times. The memories often don't start at the beginning and they tend to cut out everything but the key details. All that said, they did an incredible job with the costumes, sets, and musical numbers. The film really looks and feels like it was shot in the 60s and they managed to go all out on the number of locations. There's a lot of flashy visual performances in a ton of different styles, and a lot of classic looks being recreated for the film. The cherry on top is that it's all shot in a visually appealing way with great lighting and smooth camera work with a lot of creative angles. The big standout scenes of the film are the musical numbers that pop out every 10 minutes or so. They range from small performances in cozy settings to full arena shows with pyrotechnics and light displays. We get to see a ton of different artists perform and the music's great. As far as the cast goes, the lion's share of the screen time goes to Jeremy Jordan with the rest of them supporting him throughout his journey. Jeremy Jordan as Neil Bogart is a charming and brave man that always seems to have a plan. He walks into every room like he owns it and at times his attitude can be a bit obnoxious. Jordan does an incredible job with the musical performances and in delivering the different speeches throughout the film. He especially nailed the monologue at the end and all the emotions that went with it. Outside of Jordan, no one is given much time to develop a character and so most of them end up going for a bit of a stereotype. The musical performances are great, but the acting is just okay. Overall, Spinning Gold is a halfway decent musical with a slightly convoluted story. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of characters whose names you won't remember, and a lot of great music. Jeremy Jordan does a wonderful job as Neil Bogart, and even though I don't feel like I know all there is to know about his life, I am interested in learning more about him after this film. 6 out of 10. And remember, those are just my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Bye bye!